Howdy, Reed Desert Boy here. Hey, I just wanted to talk to you for a minute. Uh, I know I have another part of this video that's going to talk about concealed carry of a full size 1911, but I just wanted to show you, you know, I'm kind of a big guy, of course, and, but uh, I have shorts on right now when it's been hot weather. I actually have been carrying my Springfield uh, mil spec 1911 A1 uh, in a uh, Galco holster. Of course, it's got the double clip, but it's uh, it's fairly comfortable. It's uh, accessible, as you can see. If I wanted to draw it and bring it out, I just wanted to show you that yes, you can. You know, and you're in the warm weather under certain conditions. Yes, you can carry this type of uh, of a, a weapon. It is very heavy. I know in my other video I talked about maybe wearing suspenders or something. I'm not wearing any suspenders with this. But once again, when you get a heavier weapon like that, you gotta have a very sturdy belt. Oftentimes you got it tightened up pretty tight on you. It can be really not that comfortable. So you gotta kind of balance it with that. You know, other times I wear my P938 this time of year, or maybe my Ruger LCR, just because they are so much lighter. But yes, you can wear a more full-size handgun um, and in warmer weather. Just got to make sure it's appropriate for you. Remember, I'm talking about what works for me. This may not work for you. So you got to do your own research. Follow all your state and federal and local gun laws according, you know, dealing with concealed open or any kind of carry and any permitting that you need. So just something to share with you. I just wanted to show you that, yes, you can carry it like that. And, uh, and it's doable. It's not that uncomfortable. It's just that the belt gets a little tight sometimes. And like I said, sometimes I use suspenders with those kind of things. So anyway, be safe out there, whatever you're doing. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye now. Hey, Reed Desert Boy here. I just wanted to take a moment. Um, I know generally I don't go into a lot of detail about um, carry and concealed carry and things. I know I've gone over things about holsters. I think there was one time I showed a little bit more about uh, uh, carry. Um, that's something that's a real personal choice. You want to make sure that you're, you know, following all your local, state, and federal uh, laws. Make sure you have your permits, all the courses that you need to take. You need to do your own research. Make sure you find what's best for you. And I can only share with you that, you know, my opinions and my thoughts as a hobbyist and enthusiast that works. Uh, so one thing I just wanted to share was maybe some examples of how you can look when you are trying to conceal carry. And most of the time, uh, when you get down to where you're not wearing a jacket or something like that, you have to try to conceal carry. Usually, uh, your carry weapon gets more compact or smaller, but sometimes it can be a more full size. Some people, including myself on occasion, uh, might want to carry something as large as a 1911. So, anyway, um, I am carrying, uh, you know, spare magazines with me. They happen to be in my pockets. Um, and then I am carrying a full-size 1911 right here. Probably doesn't look like it. One of the things you have to be aware of, of course, is I have suspenders on because they are heavy and I am kind of chubby. And so, this helps me be able to do that. Generally, I wear a vest or something over it, or I wear with my shirt out a lot of times in the summer. But, you know, in this case, in the wintertime, I can wear suspenders, wear this shirt. This is where using the, and this particular was a Galco holster for a full size 1911. And if you reach back here, you get it pulled up, and you can see that. The full size 1911 is there. In this case, this particular one is, uh, of course, shown just for purposes of this demonstration. And of course, since I'm carrying it, it would be, of course, uh, loaded, you know. So, just to show you that you can carry a full size um, weapon with you, and uh, and there. Our ways, but you need to make sure you need to have somebody work with you to make sure you're not printing or any other things that will cause issues. Because the last thing you want to do is to is to get people concerned 
uh, about you carrying, you know, you always make sure you're carrying in places where you're allowed to and avoid all the places that are prohibited. So just a real quick discussion about that. Just wanted to show you that, of course, weapon though it is um, indeed loaded, it is safe. And of course, these are equipped with also grip safety, but it is in a safe, safe and locked, uh, cocked and locked position. So anyway, be safe out there in everything you do. Howdy, Reed Desert Boy here again. I just wanted to continue the chat about concealed carry with full size 1911 and uh, just mention that this of course is another way to do it before I showed with my shirt tucked with uh, the Galco type holster. This is still the Galco type holster but in this case um, of course the carry is back here where you can lift up your shirt that's another option that some people use. I use that sometimes more in the summer with lighter clothing that are longer, that are um, opaque enough and not printing where that's possible. Once again, you wanna follow all your local, state and federal um, laws, ordinances, regulations, and concealed carry uh, weapons, permits, and training uh, laws and so forth. Make sure you got all that in order to do any of that. But uh, I'm just showing you kind of things that work for me. Once again, you need to do your own research and kind of check it out. Another thing some people like to do is they like to carry, and they might wear a cover garment kind of like this, that's looser. That can work pretty well. A lot of people like to do that. Um, the downside to that can be if you're somewhere where it's windy, it could blow your garment up and expose that. Um, of course, you always want to make sure if you're doing that, that if you lean over, that it's not something where it will expose it, or if you reach up in a store or something like that. So um, just a few things to be aware of. Just wanted to present that once again in this case. This is more of a back here and reach back uh, for it kind of thing. Um, but uh, same holster, just different ways. You can tuck it, you can have an extended garment. You can have cover where you could open it, but once again, you know, you run the risk of that perhaps opening up or getting snagged. So, you know, where it might pull back. So, anyway, Bree Desert Boy here. Once again, just keep in mind, be safe out there, whatever you're doing. Thanks. Please like and subscribe. Bye now.